welcome back to my channel, Mermaid Nina here. I'm actually on the Disney Springs bus. We are attempting to go to Disney Springs right now over spring break. We're gonna go for Blaze Pizza and Erin McKenna desserts. We might check out the world of Disney as well. But this is the first time I've actually been on a Disney Springs bus going to Disney Springs and it's 100% full. So we will see how crowded and busy Disney Springs is. So come along. Join the fun, although I'm not sure why it's so dark, but hopefully you guys can see me. So follow along, guys. They're still doing screening. Same rules apply. like a deal to me. Alright, delicious as always. Here's our gluten-free vegan, very vegetable party. Here's my regular vegan and Mr. Just Black Olives. We're happily devouring our pizza. And the line is still pretty short and it feels very empty so far in here for, you know, spring break. All right, pro tip, if you do go to Blaze and you're staying at a Disney resort and you do have some pieces left over, ask them for the half box, not the full box, because the half box actually fits perfectly in the resort refrigerator. A full box will not. So, you know, combine your pizzas together, get a couple of half boxes, and take your pizza to go. I personally love pizza in the morning for breakfast. Pizza cold, yes, I can rock that out. I don't even need it warmed up. So anyway, yep, yeah, pro tip, get a half box. All right, looks like they still have a few empty tables. We got Planet Hollywood over there. We're headed to Erin McKenna's, which is over the bridge. I've already been that place. We got STK over here. Morimoto Asia coming up. Alright, this is Chef Smith homecoming. It's extremely popular at breakfast time. Still not feeling too crowded yet. I mean, it's popular, but not crowded. So always when we get close to Raglan Road is when it starts getting a little popular. It's very hopping. It's a very popular place. about two. This is a dog shop right here. And if we turn a corner, we've got the boathouse, which we love. We've been there a few times. And we've got our coveted Aaron McKenna's, where everything inside is vegan and gluten-free. That's where we're headed. Here we go, we're in. 
All right, kids, you know the rules. Yeah, I do. Oh my god, look at those giant cookies. Doing cake slices. Shamrock? Ooh, a shamrock shake, buddy. That sounds good. All right, Lillian, what did you want? I want my annual cookie monster. Okay. And the hot fudge tart. Hot fudge tart. Yeah, it's a white cup. Nice. Wow. All right. And I'll take a strawberry shortcake. Okay. Husband, do you want something? No, uh, no, thank you. Okay. And then I need six donuts. Okay. Dinosaur. Whoa. All right. <laughs> They're over here in the shopping area. So yeah, we got T-Rex. You guys know how much I love that place. Well, at least the look of it. But yeah, this is a. This is more what the Spring Break Disney Springs crowd is looking like over here. All right, it looks like the Lego store does have a line to get in. Looks like it wraps around all the way back there. But they got a new uh, Lego sculpture out here. It's Fantasia Mickey. Disney line wrapped up here towards kind of the parking area here. It is moving pretty fast, but yeah, you have to really want to go shopping to do this. Uh oh, I just heard one someone say it's 45 minutes or less. When we got in line, it was 30 minutes or less. 45 minutes or less. Whoo, line's picking up. But I can see the entrance. The entrance is in sight. This is how the line. So close. See, they're waving people around the corner here. But we've gotten so much closer in just a few minutes. There it is, right there. I'm actually shopping for a friend. I'm not even shopping for myself. But yeah, I mean, it's crowded, but it's doable. It's not insane. But I'm going to go in. Wish me luck. All right, here's the world of Disney. It's humongous and it's pretty much all the Disney souvenirs without them being super specialty character, you know, found in certain lands. That's what's in here. Literally filled to the brim with awesomeness. So let's go see what we can find. All right, we found the plush and I found this and I do believe this is new. It's a giant Bigfoot Porgy <laughs> with the big feet. He's cute. They got him in a bunch of characters. But um, I think the Porgy's on the new side. You can get him, get a Mike Wazowski and a Sully. And apparently they're on sale right now. If you buy two, you get them for 22. So let's keep going. All right, here's the new emos. But they sold out a Kermit and Miss Piggy, which is what I came to get. So yeah, if you don't know, they're about $18. I don't know why that's not zoom in here. 
And then the clothes are about 12, 13 bucks. Very cute. All right, let's go check out the co-op. different stuff in here. Oh, they got a huge kitchen area. You want a Disney kitchen? It's a great place to go. They got these new towels, pot holders. Just so much stuff. shop at the co-op. Looks like they got the new during me with the Skyliner doonies in here. They got amazing dresses. The little mermaid dress with some green ears. Put on it's for Disney, you know. Looks like a Chef Remy. Dress, inspired dress with the new balloon ears. Those are cute. A lot of cuteness in here. area of the co-op. So cute. Get your get your doggy a spirit jersey. How cute is that? They even got dishes and collars. It's just cute in here. Oh my god. You can get the child for your doggy. Thank you. 